Scotland are back in action tomorrow and they're not playing Greece either uh, and it's live on TalkSport too we look to continue our perfect start to Euro 2024 qualifying the problem is we're taking on Norway and Haaland the 52 goal city man and Arsenal captain Odegaard are both expected to play against Scotland former Scotland and Liverpool midfielder Charlie Adam is on commentary duty alongside uh, Joe Shannon Charlie joins us now Charlie a very good morning how are you Charlie All right, Charlie I'm very well thank you uh, of course, it must be nice up your neck of the woods this weather as well Charlie eh? yeah, or, or are you back home or are you still around Blackpool Lidham yeah, no, I'm black uh, leather now, so, um, yeah, the weather's been amazing. So, it's been a good summer so far, and um, back to work in a couple of weeks. Oh, crikey. Now, if we beat Norway and Georgia, it could be, well, I think we're there. If we if, if we can beat them both, I think we're qualified, haven't we? Yeah, I think I think this will be a, a tough test. You know, the Norwegians, uh, I know they're the fourth in the group, but and we've obviously won back-to-back games, which is going to help, but... You know, if we can get, I think if we can come at these two games with four points, it'll be a good, good start to the group again, and and then you can look forward to the next two games after that. But this is a tough tie, you know. And Odegaard, Haaland, El Nussi from Southampton's at Celtic is in the in the squad as well. So, um, tough game, but you know the way this Scotland squad's getting going, Steve's got them going well. Um, you know, great group of lads. I think it's as good a good group that we've had for a long, long time. And um, you know, I don't, I don't see why we can't go there and win, but it is going to be a tough match. Charlie, I just about to say that, it must be a really good time for Scotland fans now because you've got a really good group of players now. Steve Clark's an excellent manager. So it's only it's only going to get better for Scotland. And is there any good youngsters coming through as well who's going to be pushing to get in that squad? Um, yeah, well, listen, we have one or two that might come through, but, you know, it's difficult. To, to get into that squad at the moment, um, you know, striker is always something I think we've 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 struggled with. But the lads that have been up there, Che Adams, Dykes, mm. they've done well enough for us. But if we can get produce somebody that um, you know, as a young lad Wilson at, uh, at Aston Villa, they signed from Rangers, um, who's who's got good potential. So if you if you if you look at that and, and yeah. you can get somebody that can go and score your goals, then we've got a nucleus of a very good squad. Yep. A lot of lads playing the Premier. I always think and I always say about our national team. We get as many players playing in the, in the English Premier League, the better. Yeah. Um, and playing in the top clubs, if you can get them in the top clubs, then then always helps the the group and it helps the squad. And and these lads that are playing at the top level in that team, then have, they've definitely improved the group, the camaraderie. And and I think Steve's done a brilliant job. And um, you know, it's it's important that he just keeps going and keeps them them ticking over. Charlie, a couple of questions uh, away from Scotland now. And, and Steve Clark, you're right, he's doing a great job. Yeah. Uh, what about has Brendan got the Celtic job yet? Is that is that almost done? As as as, as I'm led to believe, it's nearly done, and I think it's a big statement from Celtic. Uh, I listened to you yesterday, and I think you know the the ones will be unhappy about it. You know, Rod and and people that are are, are close to the football yeah. club, they they will be unhappy because of the way he left. But you get a top class manager back in the building again, um, and I just think it sets it up brilliant for Rangers and Celtic again next year. Michael's obviously. Made a few early signings, which which is good for them. Um, and I just think if Brendan comes in, I think if you look at, it, I think it's a big statement from Celtic Football Club going forward. Uh, I think Brendan's a top manager. Um, yeah, in the end, he had a difficult time at Leicester, but there was no investment for eighteen months. Yeah. So it was a tough. No, job he's a the- top manager. You're right, he's Charlie. A top, he's a top manager, and I think if you're a Celtic fan, whatever's gone past is is what what the future can bring. And he's a he's a top manager, and. Um, you know, he'll be looking to, to try and rebuild that football club in terms of the infrastructure, the way it's going. And I think that's part and parcel of what, what he wants to do. He wants to make the, the football club better off the pitch. You know, the training there has been up a, a long time now and, you know, he'll be looking to make improvements to things like that. And, and you know, and, and on Ange's point, you know, he's done a wonderful job. Um, and, and I heard you saying about yesterday, it's very hard for him to be honest and say, oh, well, you know, I'm going to go to Tottenham. Um, I want to leave because the treble was such a big thing and it was important that he just kept focus on what the group was doing and, yeah. and he did that. And, um, you know, I think he's walked away with a lot of dignity in terms of Ange. S- supporters will always have a complaint, but, you know, I think if they can get Brenda back in the door, I think it sets it up for a brilliant um, title race again next season. Charlie, what do you make of um, one of your old te- teammates and you know you know him very well, uh, Stephen Gerrard, being linked to Saudi Arabia? Do you think that'd be a good move for him to, to go to Saudi? Well, or is well, he... Is- <laughs> I think I think speaking to Stephen not not so long ago when I played in the charity match with him it was about the next project for him was important. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, no, no, it didn't have to be in England. Um, it was about the project. What are they going? What can I build? What can I try and do? I think it's difficult. He's been to Scotland. He done re- he done well with, with Rangers. Um, Aston Villa, you know, didn't end the way he would like. And this is a big opportunity. The moment at the moment, listen, Stevens not gone. He doesn't need the money. It's not. This is not a money move. This is an opportunity to rebuild something. Yeah, he'll be financially rewarded. We all know with the numbers that are getting branded around about Saudi Arabia, but. You know, it's something that he wants to go and try, and um, you know, a lot. You'll see a lot of coaches going there. You'll see a lot of players going there in the next few years, and I just hope that it doesn't end up like China. That's that's my big worry is if it ends up like China, um, you know, and in a couple of years everything um, falls away. But no, if, if if he thinks it's right, it's the right project for him. Then then why not? Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.